the 0-2 delivery. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Griffiths is under it, and he's got it for the first down. The first now to the plate, Maxwell Falk. Maxwell Falk. First offering on its way. Nope. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's five to two. The center fielder, number seven, Jesse. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Jesse Pitts 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out the early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. Count even now at one and one. The one one home. Smoke on the ground up the middle. The second for one on the first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Rays will settle for just the one. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Rays lead it five to two. Leading off the inning, Mike Leading Griffiths, and they'll need him the to get baseman. something going here. Mike Griffiths. Pitch on the way. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. Count remains at 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Is taken. One That's ball strike. one. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. I think we're starting to the see the fielder. frustration mount from this Steve. offense. It's been a pretty Rubio. dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game like it has here. Into the box now, Steve Rubio. That's a ball. Ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Now Pretty good it. swing right there the as right he field. drives this ball deep. Richie. One hops over the Four. wall, and he can just walk into second base with a ground rule double. In now, Richie Bird, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. From the stretch, lifted down the line and left. Pitts is after it. 
and no one will track it down. Rubio leads off second with one gun in the inning. Popped up. Bauer shading to his right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Up next That's the exactly match. what they wanted the out of that pitch match. up in the zone. Oh, they took him up the four. ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Stepping in now, Tom Horn, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. This is popped up. Falk moving to his left, and that retires the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Rays are out in front, 5-2. to two. Digging in once again, Connor Pitts. He flew out in his last at-bat. The second bat. baseman, Connor Pitts. Here's the first pitch to him. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Let's see if he continues to climb that ladder, or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in dirt? And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now batting, catcher, Sean Bauer. Stepping up to the plate, Sean Bauer. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way in there for strike one. We're in the fifth inning here. Five two is our score. Behind 0 and 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch and a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. That's and he won't two. go after the cut fastball, two and two. Faces are empty, one man out. Looked like the Three cut left. fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter now can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence hit. boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Standing in now, Jeremy Pitts. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's one for two in this one. And that misses one and one. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Two out, nobody on. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. 
They're still out in front, 5-2. to two. Into the box, Oscar Nunez. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. First pitch on its way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Two and zero oh to the Diamondbacks DH. Two and zero. Oh. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's got himself into a good hitter's count. Three and zero oh now. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Eight. Taking all the way, and it's 3 and 1 now. This is where, if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot, and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Now the payoff pitch home. Left center, base hit. Hey, after starting a game 0 for 2 with two punch outs, that single the had to feel good right two. there. Nice piece of Dan hit. Dan Coyle. Into the box, Dan Coyle, as he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. And through just five innings, he's coming up on 100 pitches now. Yeah, Matty, I think one of the things you want to do is try to drive that pitch count up. And D-Row, if you're the offense right now, you're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah, usually the starting pitcher doesn't get to see the lineup three times through. I wouldn't be shocked if there's a move made to the bullpen here. The 1-1. One, one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ball to two balls and two strikes now. Five two is our score here in inning number six. Working for the punch out and the offering and he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 one more time. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Now batting the first baseman. Pedro. Striding into the Rodriguez. box, Pedro Rodriguez. First pitch of the at bat. Unable to find the zone with the slider. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. The 1-0 is a fastball that misses. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. 
Here comes the 2-0 pitch. High and away, not close. 3-0. and Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Fouled away. Nunez leads off first with one away. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch the wasn't bat, even close. Now he's got Both a man off. on with one out, so Billy he's got to focus on trying to Go get the ground Rio. ball. Striding in, Felipe Carrillo. From the stretch. Here's a slider that's inside, 1 0. First and second now, one man out. Count now a ball and a strike. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Fouled off. The 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite now a few more before he's done. Still a lot of he's game there. left in this one. Go. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three run lead. Ladies Hector and Castilla drops in from the please. bullpen here as he inherits now a tough spot with two on and two away. Number 29, Hector Castilla. Stephen Combs will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. First delivery to him on the way. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. The 1-0. And here's a ball hit in the air. Pitts is in pursuit, and no one will track it down. The 1-1 shoots this one over to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Rays are in front, five to two. Jonas McDougal enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now at the plate, John Pitts the as the switch hitter will take his the cuts right left-handed here. Well, this isn't his more Good. accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here swinging the bat left-handed. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh, 
to me, getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on well, something without one. fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. The 1-1 pitch. Donnie oh, couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Another 1 2 delivery. Popped him up. And there's your first out of the inning. Standing in, Jeff Pitts. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball in there for a called strike. in there and he's in control 0 2 now hey as a hitter right here you can't be leaning out over I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here one out nobody on another 0 and 2 coming not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping in, Sammy Pitts. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Coyle has a play. And that retires the side. Rays go in order one, two, three. And it remains five to two. Welcome back to baseball on the show. We're in the seventh with the Rays out in front and let's get you caught up with our game summary for the first six innings. Standing in Mike Leading Griffiths. The he got called out on strikes his last hit. time through. Mike. Yeah Maddie and hopefully he Griffiths. got it out of his system especially now he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Pitts racing back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Up next for the Diamondbacks. Back to the top the spot fielder. in the Arizona lineup now Steve. and stepping in, Steve Rubio. Rubio. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. 
Now another 0-2. Swing and a liner, but foul. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Now batting, right fielder, Richie. Up next for Bird. Arizona, Richie Bird. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. Now a splitter starts things off with a called strike one. Ball one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning Ladies is gentlemen, over. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The Rays lead it 5-2. to two. Your Josh Roberts gets the now call from the pen Arizona. to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Josh Roberts. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Pedro the Portillo. The designated hitter, Pedro Portillo. First pitch on its way. Pulled toward right center field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And the Rays strike quickly here in the inning. It's a leadoff double. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head Tampa too much Bay. because that's his second hit of the baseman. ball game. This one Maxwell. a double. I'm sure he's feeling oh. a lot better about the way he's going right now. In now, Maxwell Falk as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1 0 home. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Portillo stands at second with no outs. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jesse Pitts. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. He's set. Here it comes. In there, strike one. A man at third with one away. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. And he lays off again, ball three. Connor Pitts will be next.
Count full three balls and two strikes. One out and a runner on third. To third. Oh and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Well, that Second makes it a four-run deficit. So Honor. you might have to start wondering if this is too much for them to come back. They've only been able to scratch across two runs the entire game so far. So coming up with four more in this one might be too tall of an order. Connor Pitts will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. First pitch on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Toward second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag, but he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bird going back on it. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Leading off the inning, Tom the Horn, now. and they'll need the him to get baseman. something going here. Oh. It doesn't look very promising Four. so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. The Rays are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale, so if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball. You're going for the sweep, and you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. Ball. And he lays off for a ball, two-and-one. And, and even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They are all out in full force, coming to the ballpark, hoping to witness a sweep, and it looks pretty good at this point. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Full count still. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. Into the box now. Oscar Nunez. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And a fastball upstairs here that runs it to 2 and 0. Bases are empty, one man out. 2 high and it's 3 and 0. Oh. 3-0 -oh pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The three and one pitch. And that's low ball four. 
it's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major League hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Coming to the plate now, Dan Coyle. Here comes the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Eighth home run on the season for him. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. to four. Benito Ordonez gets the call now, as he'll pitch with range. one gun in the top of the Number eighth. Six, Benito Ordonez. Stepping in now, Pedro Rodriguez, Pedro. as he will take strike Rodriguez. one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage of it. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Pitts is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The batter. Well, number this one nine. was squared up pretty Four good, stop. but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, go. batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Standing in now, Felipe Carrillo. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for two game so far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Ball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. But the Diamondbacks pick up a couple courtesy of this two run home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rays six and the Diamondbacks four. Ladies Merle and gentlemen, Fielder is on to pitch please. out of the bullpen in now the bottom half of the Arizona, eighth. Number 30, Merle Fielder. At the plate, Sean Leading Bauer. For the Ray. The catcher, Sean Bauer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The next one, two pitch. One, two pitch is a slider that misses two and two.
Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another full count pitch home. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A-B right here. He's really making this pitcher grind for everything. Another one sent foul. Another full count offering on its way. Hot shot down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Up next for Tampa Bay, the left fielder, David Jeremy. Cortez, takes the ball Pitch. here as he'll enter Your with a runner at first, please. and nobody now out. Now pitching for Arizona, number 28, David Cortez. Jeremy Pitts will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. The 0 and 1 delivery. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Rubio on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Into the box now. The right John shooter, Pitts. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, he's got to make an adjustment. You can tell this guy's been struggling with the bat in his hands. He's got a lot of frustration. He's gripping the bat too tight. He needs to relax, take a deep breath, and have a productive A.B. right here. Bauer, base runner at first with one out. Down the first baseline. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Up next for Tampa Bay, the shortstop, Jeff. Now Pitt. at the plate, Jeff Pitts. And they're runners at the corners now. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Popped him up. Rodriguez is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. now Settling in now, Sammy Pitts. Sammy Pitts. He waits. Now the pitch. Back up the middle. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Now, that makes the it 7-4. Hey, Dero, that's a big Four RBI zero. right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Into the box, Pedro Portillo, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. So far, two for three in this one.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Rubio giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We've played eight full. The Rays are out in front, seven to four. Your Gregory Pitts please. comes on from now the pen, hoping to finish Rays. this one off here in the top Number of the 14. ninth. Gregory Pitts. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Stephen Holmes, as they'll look to get something going here and diamond. even this game up. They look the like best. they're up against it here. Yeah. Down three on oh. the road, trying to come back against the closer. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And he misses with it one and one. That's a tough pitch to throw right there. That front door curveball just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away. And unfortunately that one stayed inside. The one one is taken for strike two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Just hung in there on that one. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first now guy he it. faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep Rip breath. It. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. First pitch of the at-bat. A ball and no strikes. One out, nobody on. And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident the about the way guy. this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Into the box now, Steve Rubio. As he'll watch a first-pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Down the left field line and deep. Arizona down to its last strike. He hangs the K to end it as the Rays. Finish the job and complete the series sweep of their rivals at home. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 7-4 the final finish today. The Tampa Bay Rays led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Mickey Munson earns win number four on the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Matt Moore takes the loss, only his first of the year. Gregory Pitts strikes out the side to record the save, his ninth of the year.
year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame for the victorious Rays. 